How we are doing? So, today I'm gonna do a video on this Poly CTM 7DN from around 1957. And this is belonging to the late Dave Hooper, who was well known in amateur radio and especially amateur TV circuits. And he was also uh, interested in 405 line stuff. Sadly, I never met, met Dave, much to my disadvantage. But uh, I got this set and a few other little bits and pieces off his son there a while ago. And knowing that the set had been restored previously, uh, I brought it, when I got it home, I just brought it in, wound it up on the Verdiac, worked perfectly. So uh, I had it in the house for a few weeks, and uh, but the biscuits in the tuner are very dirty, and now I can't get it through at all. I'll switch it on and give you a look. But uh, I'm going to take the chassis out, take the cover off the tuner, clean the biscuits, see if there's anything else it needs doing. But it's been working there very well. Unusual set in that the fact that they've gone to a bit of effort on the sound side of things, where it has three speakers, it has a tweeter on the front, and two uh, six inch good man's drivers either side. So the sound should be better than uh, you know your normal uh, bog standard uh, 405 line set. So as you can see, there's the uh, that's what we're looking at the minute. And um, you can see the old test cards trying to come through there. Hmm, it's there now, but um, as you can see, it's it's not great. So like there might be something loose there as well. So that, that sort of was developing over the, the last week or two it was in the house. So I'm going to get the chassis out and we'll have a look at it. And uh, we'll see what we can do about it. But as you can see it has an excellent tube and it's a very, very nice set. I'm very happy to have it in the collection. So I want to get that back in the house and get that horrible A774 uh, back in the shed. Because it's starting to give trouble as well. We're getting pulling on verticals but that's another day's work. What a heap of crap. <laughs> it was only gone for like three days in the house and it's already broke down. Anyway, not to worry. I'll uh, I'll get this out of the cabinet. So chassis removal is handy enough. There's just the two screws here which I've taken out. Uh, wing nut up here that holds the tube pushed in. And you have to take the two speakers out. That's also ha handy enough. Because they slot. They slot in here and you just undo this lad here that, uh, that clamps on them, onto them. And they slot in there. Now sadly I just noticed when I was taking one of the speakers out um, one of them has a tear in it see there it's a bit sad so I did think the sound sound on it wasn't as good as it should have been when I was running it in the house however I'll uh, probably get a bit of light paper, crap paper or something and blew it up so that's the story so far I'm going to pull the chassis out now but I'm going to stop the video for it because if I drop it I don't want you to see it Okay, so we have the uh, the set is out of the cabinet, and I didn't drop it, which is very good. Uh, as we can see, it uses an early uh, printed circuit board. It's probably Pi's first attempt at a circuit board, I would imagine. Um, there's still quite a few hunts uh, fitted to the set, but it's working okay. So, I don't know, should I change all them when I'm in here now, or should I leave it alone? Because it's working. The may is be well be better off replaced now I think but um, you can see where the view was the mullard mustards uh, for all the dodgy ones well, hell and ever here's our tuner friend here you can see he's either loose in the mountains or the mountains have uh, rotted but um uh, he's rocking around a bit. Anyway, we'll get the cover off the bottom of it and uh, we'll sort him first. The other thing I have to do is, I have to change the mains lead on it, 
because I've never seen I know these old PVC lids can give trouble alright but I've never seen one split open before and it's split the whole length of the lid which is uh, unusual so I'll be banging a new mains lead on it as well anyway um, Yeah, there appears to be uh, rubber grommets, which have uh, rotted. That's why the tuner is uh, flopping about. I might have a couple of rubber grommets, but I don't think of enough. But, um, yeah, that's exactly what's happened. The grommets have rotted. Anyway, we'll pop the cover off the bottom of the tuner. I'm more in. They're not biscuits, they're uh, like uh, wafers. Get a knob on Just about to see what's going on here. It's just like a normal wave change switch in a radio, it's not. I thought there were biscuits on a turret, but that's not how they're doing it here. See, it's just like a normal uh, radio effort. Wave change. Now, I don't want to go spraying magic spraying all around there either. Because that mightn't be good. So what I'll do is I'll put a bit of magic spray on some, some cotton bulbs. I think that'll be the approach. Right, so I'll go in and rub the white cotton bulbs. Right, so I went in and rubbed a few cotton bulbs on the good lady. So uh, spray a bit of magic spray into a thing. Here, and then just dip me bulbs into it. Um, I've been thinking about the caps as well. I'm gonna leave them alone for now. Set working, so we we'll leave it alone. I kind of want to get this back together too because of the, of enough stuff half taken apart at the minute without getting into all that. That's what's coming off the yeah. Uh, off the track there so you can so it does definitely need a good clean There's one bone.
Yeah, the reason why I don't want to go in there with the spray is the, the, the old paxil and I'll end up uh, soaking it all up and it could do more damage than good. Could end up going uh, conductive and stuff like that. So it's, it's not really a good idea to go spraying shit in there. And I think that's what happened to a lot of tuners that the lads drown them with the stuff and then they're never right. I have a question for you. Maybe you can give me an answer. Um, where do you get your magic spray? I used to always go into Macklin's here in Dublin and get it when I needed it. I'd buy a couple of cans every now and again and when they were closing down, I think about four or five cans, I think about whatever was on the shelf. And uh, starting to run a little bit low now, so uh, I'd like to know where, where you get your, uh, your service all stuff from. Um, I suppose you can get it off RS or one of them. I think when this set was in service, it was probably in a house with a coal fire or something like that sort of black soot in it that you get. I found a couple of grommets as well, but I don't. I think they're too big. Here's another question I have for you then. Anyone know a good source for grommets? Because uh, I'm finding a lot of the radios that I'm working on lately that the uh, the grommets for the tuning gangs are all rotten. So they all sort of need to be replaced. Alright, I don't know uh, how successful that's been. It's hard to see what you're doing, but I think I've gotten a judging by the cotton buds anyway, I've certainly taken a good deal of crap off. So I'm gonna turn her up and switch her on and just see what uh, how she performs now. See if my look is a bit better now. Bring over the speakers and plug them in action. See how our look is. Hopefully, 
lovely the tuner I want to play. But all now this time, I didn't spray any of the other controls yet either, which I need to do. But as for the the caps that are in it, I don't know whether to change them or leave them. Like it is walking. I can have a go at it again anyway. Don't really want to get into it now. I've enough stuff here half taken apart I need to get going. I want to go with this Phillips. As I say, I've downloaded all the, the service information off the radio museum. So, uh, it's time to make inroads on that. Whereas this set is working uh, after a fashion. So, might as well off leaving it alone just for now. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Yeah, I'll be happy enough with that now. That's way better than it was. One of the jumping around like it was well a little bit, but I think I've got ground on issues with me uh, tuner. But uh, mm, maybe not. Maybe not so good. Well, I think half the problem is it's probably overloading with the... I need a bit of attenuation. That's what I need. Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with that picture. Alright, well, that's a look at the pie. I'm going to leave it at this. Again, the video's getting on a little bit. But, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get it back together. I'll try to see if we can get grommets for that. So, uh, what I want off these lads is a source for magic spray. And uh, let me know where you can get grommets. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I'll talk to you soon. Good luck and take care.